I'm uh, Charles Severance, and uh, this is part of my uh, PHP and MySQL site I uh, call phpintro.com. It's part of the installation steps, and I'm going to show you how to turn on display errors in XAMPP. So, so I'm going to start XAMPP up, and I'll start this, and I can start MySQL, hardly matters. So I'm going I'm to fire up XAMPP now, and take a look at PHP info. And the value is display errors. So here's this value display errors, and you'll notice it's off. So let me show you what happens because of this. So I'm going to make a little PHP file. I'm going to call it PHP. I'm going to say print hello world semicolon slash PHP file. Save as. Oops, I did that in XAMPP before. Uh, XAMP, um, HDDocs. Um, let me make a new folder called oops, and I'll make a folder, a file called oops.php. So I got I got this file oops.php sitting there. So let's take a look at um, oops oops.php. There we go. Hello world. Seems pretty nice. But let's make a little mistake. Change the N to an M and hit refresh. Okay. So now you get this really strange message. It's a 500 error. And what you really just have is syntax error. Now there are logs that you can go find this stuff. But it's easier to just change it so that this while you're developing the errors show up here in your web server. And so let me go back to XAMPP. Um, the way to do this is you've got to change this file PHP INI. And so it's good to find out which it is. Sometimes there's more than one. So you've got to find the one that applies to the one that you're working with. And it, it's in Applications, XAMPP, XAMPP Files, ETC, PHP INI. Okay. So now that I know what that is, I'm going to shut off my Apache web server and my MySQL. And now I'm going to edit that file, this file right here. I'm going to edit that file. That's our configuration file for PHP. So I'm going to say File Open, Applications, XAMPP, XAMPP Files, and where was that? Let's check again. The folder ETC, ETC and PHP INI. And so this is a file that configures your PHP and you go find down in this file, way down, and you find the line that's, that's, that's display errors. Now you might have to uncomment this or make sure that it says which errors. You kind of want all the errors. This is saying, but not notices. You might want notices as well, but it doesn't matter. So you save this file, save this file, so you save this file, and um, and then you go and restart your uh, web server. And I restart my MySQL. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look in XAMPP and take a look at PHP info and just for sanity verify that display errors is now on. That's goodness because that's what we tried. If it stayed off, you might have edited the wrong file or saved it incorrectly. So now let's go over to Oops. Oops.php, and now we see that we've got the error, and we knew what the error was all along. It's a syntax error, but the error shows up in the screen, and so uh, of course we can see line two. We'll change that to a print, and happy, happy, and she works. So they they don't want these errors to show up on your display um, in case this is running in production, but when you're running in development. It's really tiresome to go hunting through logs to find the errors. Okay? Thanks a lot.